What's up guys, so let's get right into it right away with this homemade deep conditioning treatment for moisture. It feels just like any other deep conditioning treatment, nice and silky, nice and soft, smooth. It feels really great. So some of the ingredients in this homemade treatment is olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, pure aloe vera gel from her garden, a hair polish, and pills of vitamin B complex. And she said she added a little pepper. Now you can see here in the cover, the pepper. And one of the main oils that is inside of this treatment is the chicken grease. Now she explained to me that I can apply this to dry hair or wet hair, but I should not wash my hair first, okay? So what I did was just to apply some water to my hair in, in sections. I'm just here dampening the hair so that I don't use too much of the product because I've applied um, treatment to my hair on dry hair and it I just wasted the product. So here's just plain water in the bottle and I'm just drenching my hair with water for the application process. So then I just parted my hair into four sections and then I will be applying the treatment. Now guys, I look online to see if there was any information concerning this chicken grease for hair growth. Now I spoke to you guys about this treatment in my last relaxer update number four. I'm going to put that up in the cards for you guys to check that out. I purchased this homemade moisturizing treatment from a Spanish lady that relaxed my hair the last time. Now, I said to you guys that I'll be trying it also. This is the first time I'm using it. I checked online to see if there was any information on chicken grease. Now, I found one site which said that this is an old African remedy used on natural hair to stimulate growth. Now, what they do is to take the chicken skin off of the chicken and then they simmer it down into a skillet without any grease whatsoever. So whatever oil produces from the chicken skin is what they apply to their treatment, they apply it to their oil mix, and they apply it to their scalp for more growth. And I have no idea if this is true. This is the very first time I'm using this product, guys. So let's just stop for a while. If this is the first time you're watching this video, or any of my videos please give me a like if you're enjoying it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know in the comment section if you have ever heard of persons using the chicken grease to stimulate growth because this is the first time I'm using something like this on my hair please excuse me I'm talking to my daughter here she wanted to help apply the treatment So as I'm applying the treatment, it feels soft on my hair. It has this silky texture. I don't know what that the reason for that is. I don't know if because of the mixture of all of what she has in here. And one of the ingredients that I forget to mention is that she said she has a deep conditioning, a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment here in the container, but I did not ask her which brand or what type of moisturizing treatment she has in it but it is it does have some sort of treatment that you purchase from the store as you can see i was trying to save on product but i didn't save nothing because i went ahead and i drenched the hair in this product and obviously i'm overdoing it this is not recommended for whenever you are applying your deep conditioner this is not recommended as you can see i went in heavy handedly okay guys so far my hair feels moisturized i'm not gonna lie i have no idea if it's the aloe vera gel that is in this product but so far my hair feels soft okay so she says that i should sit under the hair dryer for 15 minutes to 30 minutes the most and then wash that out with my usual products so I'm just gonna do that now and let you guys know what I think about this product afterwards I'll be right back so after I applied the product it felt so nice and soft 
and silky I don't know my new growth was very soft and that is what I like about this product so I have no idea if it's the grease that is inside it from the chicken skin or is the aloe vera jelly that's causing the new growth to feel so moisturized I don't know because this is the first time I'm trying this product and I so far like it it's not bad at all after applying my leave-in conditioner now you see me here I'm applying this foam I should not have had the I should not have added it because it just made my hair crispy don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and just here what I did was just to take off the covers of the rollers so not to have the line when I'm finished thanks for watching adios